Hello boys and girls. Today we are doing a nice level one beginner's pose called cross. Basically where the uh, uh, where the base has her feet in my armpits. A very safe pose to try. Um, let's first demonstrate a possible fall. So why does he have one sock? <laughs> Yeah, and show him a fall, Ah! <laughs> so keep in mind the feet are tired left and right. If there is a fall, your first instinct as the fly is to bring your feet down before your body comes down, okay? And spread that fall as, as, as wide as possible between your feet and your hands so you can you can um, uh, um, spread out the, the, all the, uh, the impact of that fall. So bring it out, bring your feet and your hands down first. This is relatively safe because you're looking at the ground and your feet are low already. So this one should be a safe one until you can try it at home. So now let's demonstrate um, the little points to do this correctly, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna step over my base's uh, torso like this. So I'm in, I'm in front of her legs, okay? For smaller feet, you want to use the middle of the foot on the armpit. For bases with larger feet, you want, you use the padding of the uh, foot or the ball of the feet. So Magda here, my base, has a smaller feet, so I'm going to put the middle of her foot in my armpit here. In there. A common mistake for flies when they first fly this is they bring the hips too far forward. Keep your butt against her knees there. That's going to give you more support. I'm going to grab my hands, either this kind of uh, Ganesh grip or grab my own wrist like that and that gives me extra strength. She's gonna grab the back of my knees or the back of my thighs and lift up. Another common mistake is that flowers, or I'm sorry, bases will bring their legs too close to their face, so she wants to bring them back and find that 90 degree. Nice demonstration there. And once I'm here, I can, once I, she feels nice and stable, I can slowly reach in and tuck my legs in. And then go free without anything. And her job is to find that midline Hold that balance, good. And the base can can support the flyer underneath their thighs or the butt there. But be careful not to step on your base's face there. I'm gonna slowly grab my ankles and come out and she's gonna support my legs here. As I come out, I'm gonna add a lot of pressure forward on her hands. So she has to be, the base has to be ready to compensate for that. As I come out, I keep my butt on her knee and then I can come out wide that way. I'm looking for it. And to come down, I simply let go and bring my feet on the ground. And she, her legs are straight the whole time, so she's supporting me so that I can push back on up. And there you go. Um, this is also a great way for new bases to train their midline and abductor muscles and their abdominals. So to get, you can get into that position and then on purpose, bring your flyer left and right. So you're training your core and training your abductor muscles to get stronger, to be able to bring it back in the midline, which is such an important skill to have in all good basing, okay? So again, um, you can do this on purpose, bring it back and forth, bring the base back to the side and right and left, and it trains her core and trains her muscles to bring it back to the midline. Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, hope it was helpful. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on uh, Facebook as well. I'm at facebook.com slash yogidao. I'll put the link below and uh, leave any comments or questions that you have and I'll try to answer them. So until then, be courageous and play safe.